Hello and welcome to my video on the installation manager for EMC ScaleIO Software Defined Storage. You can get EMC um, ScaleIO from www.emc.com slash ScaleIO, which takes you to the download pages. So if you proceed to download ScaleIO, you will find the free versions of EMC ScaleIO for VMware, Linux and ScaleIO for Windows. Um, in my case, we use the ScaleIO installation manager on a Windows box, so the installation is pretty easy. You go to your download location of ScaleIO. Um, this is the complete Windows deck download, and from there I go to the gateway, and there's a 64-bit version where you just simple click on setup, which extracts and installs the gateway, which includes the installation manager. The ScaleIO installation manager is a web interface um, with the REST API included that does all the calls to the underlying guest systems. While this machine is going to install um, to install the installation manager, I prepare three virtual machines um, and those virtual machines are basically CentOS machines and I do this with a short script that's called install CentOS for ScaleIO which essentially brings up four of some CentOS machines and I use my default settings for it for networking and I will want to build three disks to each virtual machine um, that I can use later on for ScaleIO. So I hit the button and my downloader detects that I don't have the ScaleIO Linux binary currently in my sources location, asks me if I want to download, I say yes, so I'm taking away the burden of downloading everything from the FTP side. So it does it for me and later on I will find um, the ScaleIO Red Hat binaries um, in my sources download location. Once this is done, and I do this for barely every software I'm using within the, the EMC, SVMs or, or Microsoft environments, um, once the download and extraction is done, it will go out and uh, create three ScaleIO machines, uh, three um, CentOS machines with a default network settings. It will take a few moments, um, so the first machine is up and running, the second machine pops up, and then we will see the third machine up and running. I'm waiting for this because um, this every time destructs switching of the display between the three nodes. So once the third node is um, going to be installed, we can see that we have three virtual machines right now for running CentOS that are being built. Uh, I'm switching back to my installation manager. I have to click next here, accept the license agreement and the um, um, free software license stuff. Um, you m must notice that when you install Scala or for free, um, you don't have support other than community support. So if you want to have professional support from EMC, you must acquire a license for Scala. Um, we select the default installation um, path and we need to specify a password user for the installation gateway. I check just here admin as the password and you click install and the installation for the ScaleIO um, gateway is running. This may, may slow down, slow down my, my machine a little bit because I'm running the deployment of three other machines in the background but after a few moments this should be done. Um, just for interest, we are switching back to the installer. The installer waits until the um, VMware utils are up and running in my virtual machines. Once the VMware utils are up and the machine is reachable, I configure network and all that stuff inside the virtual machine. Um, so I don't have to worry about networking and all the other stuff. So might be interesting to look at the first machine where we can log in with root and the password is PA. One, two, three. I'm using my default password, and we do a um, if config, and we see okay, this one is connected with a private IP address of 192.168.2.221. Um, and after the installation, all my three nodes will be up and running. So the Scala installation manager for the uh, installation program for the gateway has finished, so we can click on the finish button and flip to our favorite browser. In this case, there's only IE installed on it, and we do HTTPS local, localhost, uh, which should bring us to the ScaleIO installer. 
So we will see a certificate warning and we continue to this website and we specify the admin user, which is admin and the admin password that we um, selected during the installation of. So we get to the um, installation manager interface and the first thing that we can do is upload the installation packages to the installation manager. We'll do so and we get asked for the location of the installation package. So we click on browse um, and I have actually downloaded it to my source directory and you can find all the packages in here that we need for a proper Scale.io installation. There's the call home, so we can do a EMC call home, um, the lightweight installation agent, as well as the metadata manager pieces, um, the Scale.io data clients, the data servers, and the type breakers. I don't get specifically to the roads, just click on upload and those packages are uploaded to the installation manager. They are the latest currently in, in my environment here. Um, if you have multiple versions, um, it, they will pop up here. So once we get to the install configuration, we have to first specify the new passwords for the MDM. And I would always encourage you to highlight the password to see if you have um, written it correctly. So we have to accept the um, end user license agreement. We specify the IP addresses for, for the host, which is 192.168.2.1. One, two, 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 one, two, three. Sorry, I made a mistake here. And then we have to specify the password for the root users. Now, I would encourage you just click on this one. Otherwise, you might specify the wrong password, and the installer might stop at the check and let you redo that thing. Um, not a big deal then, but um, we want to make sure everything works fine. Once we hit the install button, we can go to the monitor tab and the installer goes out and checks the environment. So he validates the node for credentials and see if he can just upload everything. So once the check is done, we click on start upload phase and the software is being uploaded from the installation manager to the node. This takes away a lot of work for um, for making an orchestration of software deployment because everything is done automatically. Now we can click on the start install phase and the packages get installed on each and every node. I've been into several installations of Ceps and other stuff which is by far more complicated where you have to to um, add the sources to your package manager and all that stuff, run the installation, check for dependencies. This is pretty easy, guys. This is a very fast installation of packages on a Linux system. <coughs> Once the installation is done, might take only a few moments. The next phase would be to configure the Scale.io environment, which means we are building a metadata manager uh, and cluster this metadata manager on the first two nodes and add the three nodes as SDSs and you can follow the step and you see all operations are marked as complete. At this part, the installation of our Scale.io is done. We can mark this operation as completed and now you can see some instructions how to log in the MDM, add SDS devices by command line, add volumes and map volumes. Now what we are going to do now, because this is so damn easy, we go to our Windows download um, and we might find this also in the Red Hat download. It's the user interface for Windows. So it's in here. Um, and we just double click on this and it's preparing to install. It takes a few moments. This is the user interface for EMC Scale.io. It's just a setup next finish. So we have to accept the license terms here as well. Um, and asks me for the location and we click on install and this will install the EMC Scale.io user interface. So once the installation is finished, we can click on the EMC Scale.io user interface 
and it starts this nice little user interface. So we have to specify the IP address of our primary MDM, the username and the password. Once we click connect, we should get in to the Scala O cluster that we just built. As you can see, there is currently no map volume. We have three SDCs. We have no capacity right now. We can go to the back end and we see our three default SDSs. There are currently no alerts, so we can start with um, adding storage to the SDS. So we click on device and the device path might be slash dev SDB, something like this. put this in and we add it to the default pool and we say OK. And now this device is being added. So we do the same for each and every node. We could also use the command line for it. We could also use the installation manager to, to use a um, comma separated values um, sheet to do this everything automatically but I just wanted to highlight the installation manager that does everything like automatic for you without preparing that sheet. So once we added the capacity you can see from our dashboard we now have like 200, uh, th uh, 300 um, gigabytes in total of capacity in our scale IO environment. Um, it has just taken a few moments to that this up build a new array with Scale.io, a new um, software defined storage and attach some storage to the back end. So we could also do the same for the remaining devices because as you might um, remember, we had um, added three devices to each machine. And so we can do this and add another device, which might be SDD in this case. And now we added this capacity to the first node. <coughs> Sorry for that. And you can see it's uh, bringing in the devices immediately. And we do the same for this one. And we can do this for the third one as well. And now we can see from the dashboard that we get a little bit more capacity right now. So once the capacity is tested and checked in, we get like 900 gigabytes of capacity in here.